close with James Bay. Hi, this is James Bay. Ash London. Live. We have had only the very best of artists on this mini stage, the likes of Khalid, Alessia Cara, Lainey, Sexy Vibe, I'm forgetting someone. Do a freaking leap, I was amazing. And they're all awesome and great, but we thought the fifth artist obviously should be the best, am I right? So all of you guys, um, hands up who dropped an F-bomb on the radio when they won these tickets. I thought James Bay fans were gonna be really polite and like, no, you guys went ham, which is always, who would have thought that James Bay fans are potty mouths? I'm all for it. So today you've got such a treat coming up. We've got James here, he's gonna perform three songs. We're gonna have a bit of a chat. We're all gonna become best friends. Who's into that idea? Heaven. Okay, well, enough from me. I want you guys to put your hands together and make lots of noise for today's amazing guest, James Bay. <laughs> and he's coming from behind. He's coming from behind. What, what, what? Welcome, James. Sorry, I did a quick outfit change. Hello. Hello, my love. I should have robbed him with my jacket. Well, you've got fancy. Yes, look. We're like. Yours are, yours are cool. Um, you could hurt someone with those. But I won't. Don't do it. You're I a lovely do man. It. Um, the F-bombs thing. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> That's great. That's, I saw that tweet. That never happens usually, though. <laughs> usually people are like, I'm so good. This is wonderful. And people are like, oh, my fuck. We're literally on the radio. <laughs> so from now on, we have to do it in advance, just in case. You're feral fans. I think, yeah, keep it exciting. You know. Yeah, right. Exactly. So you know. you're going to kick us off. With two tracks. Yes, I'm not going to actually kick you like this. Don't, because that would hurt with no, those absolutely. high pants. I mean, boots. Um, what are you going to sing first? Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to do Wild Love first. Oh, yes. <laughs> How much do we love this? First thing we heard off the new album, and I was like, yep, yep, JB's back. <laughs> all right, well, you're going to do two tracks. Yes. And then all of us are going to chat and become best friends. So Brilliant. do you want to just get into it, mate? Yeah, I'm going to get the band in too. Bring them in. Come on, guys. Oh, there we yeah, go. come on. Little 
Can I, do you want me to put this yeah, through, Uncle? Ahead. Well, I'm shorter than you and I'm that on the shorter long, stool, so I'm going to look like an yeah. umpa loompa. Um, cool. I'll kick it off. I want to talk about that song in particular because it's so beautiful and Thank I think you. it's one of those, and it's a nice, like, a bridging song, I think, between yes. Chaos and the Calm and James Bay 2018. Yes, indeed. Which is a beautiful thing. Um, and I think there's, there's so much you can take out of that from whatever your own experiences are, however you want to interpret it, which is the beauty of good pop music. But for you, where did that come from? Because those um, lyrics are like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, where did that come from? Um, I, I suppose it comes from lots of different places. For, I, I write from a very personal perspective, kind of always. But um, that song, I've been touring for... Uh, I've been touring the songs that are on Chaos and the Calm since 2013. And at the very end of 2016, we finished touring and I got back home and I was out of the bubble. And it's a wonderful bubble touring. It's, uh, but it is kind of a bubble because you spend, uh, you know, all your time kind of increasingly playing in bigger and bigger venues and then getting on the bus with the, with the, the, the tour family. And uh, it's a very positive, especially 
for all the people on that bus, from my perspective particularly, it's a pretty positive experience. Yeah. And um, uh, then you get home and back to the real world. Mm. And like, the real world is amazing and terrifying and sort of a bit terrible at times as well. And I think I'd experienced this great sense of unity being on the road with all these people and singing with all these people in these venues. And it doesn't, it, it doesn't, it's not as wonderful as that in, in real life. And um, that's all right. It's also not all right. And I just felt it in such an enormous way. And uh, I, I didn't like, I only realized this in hindsight after writing that song and a lot of the other songs on, on Electric Light, but definitely this one. Um, because, yeah, it really speaks about that. Um, and I guess that was in there, sort of, it was something I really wanted to say because I feel, you know, the things that, that Us talks about is, it, are also things you can experience like one on one with somebody. You know, if it's not working out quite the way you want it to in a relationship, say, you know, you can, you can feel that feeling of, well, I don't know what, <sighs> I don't know where to go next, but I do believe we could work, sort yeah. of thing. So it works on the smaller level and the bigger level and it, uh, and it comes from kind of both of those places, I guess. But I think that's what good music needs to do now. Like I think yeah. in the world that we can all admit is kind of going to shit, <laughs> like in this terrifying way. And there's so much beauty in the world, but there's also so much that scares us. Yeah. I think that's what music has to do. Make us believe that a bigger world is better and a better world is possible. Yeah. But it's got to be like a, a thing that unifies. It has to unify. Yeah, music has to, it has to sort of, it has to be an escape which is kind of a whole different thing to the other thing it has to be, which is um, quite sort of grounding. Mm. And it, uh, it has to kind of be realistic at the same time. But um, I, I, like you're saying, and I'm the same, I believe that kind of great music, music has to do that. So I'm always going to try and create that, I guess. Yeah, I reckon you'll do a pretty good job of that. And you're back on tour now, so you're back yes. in the bubble. And you did tweet recently that it is your favourite place to be. It so is. obviously you prefer the bubble. I do like the bubble. <laughs> With the screaming fans and the good. tour buses. It's pretty good. It ain't bad. It's not. All right, we've got some uh, fan questions Ooh. from our beautiful listeners. Avery's kicking us off. Don't drop any f bombs, guys. Oh, I'll, I'll we try. know that's what you like to do. <laughs> Hi, I was just wondering if there's a song that you love so much that it absolutely kills you that you didn't write it. Well, okay, one that isn't mine that kills me that I didn't write. There's a few of those. Um, it's a long list. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You, uh, there's a song by Joni Mitchell called "Case of You" that absolutely blows my mind every time I hear it. Then James Blake did a great cover of it, which also blows my mind because his voice is ridiculous. Um, do people get you and James Blake confused? There was a dude in a lift once in an elevator, <laughs> and he said, I think, it, I think it said James Bay on my guitar case or something, and he was a total dad about this. <laughs> Bless him. And he said, my daughter loves your music, loved your Joni Mitchell cover. Oh. Well, I don't know, I'll take it. Did you, you know. say, yeah, working with Beyonce was silly. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you just said Beyonce, and that's made me think of what was the question? So, songs that, that wish I wish I'd written every Beyonce song. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, there's a, a friend of mine called Kevin Garrett, who's a phenomenal songwriter and a phenomenal artist in his own right. And he wrote "Pray You Catch Me," um, the first track on her most recent album, and uh, she absolutely nails that song. But go and check out Kevin Garrett singing Pretty Catch Me because it's phenomenal. He's got a bit of the sort of James Blake vibes, but he's all his own thing. And that's, that's absolutely on the list of songs I wish I'd written. Good answer. I can't go on with that. Leah, you're up next, baby girl. Hey, James. Hi. So my question for you is you've toured with like quite a few fabulous, amazing people. Mm. Taylor, you've sung yeah. with Ed. Yeah. My question for you is who would you want to tour with again oh. and why? Who I want to tour with? I had a very nice time touring with Hosier. He was a he was a great tour. Um, Tell him to make some new music. Yeah, we're all. See, I was thinking that this week. Like, where's Hosier gone? Yeah, I, I, I'm not worried yet. But you know, <laughs> someone we need we need to all give him a little call and see if he's. I'm sure he's abs I'm sure he's absolutely fine. But um, uh, I'm trying to think of the tours. Uh, I mean, having Ed up on stage was very cool. He's he's the loveliest guy in the world. Everybody knows it, and it's and it's very true. And he's extremely musical. And he's extremely kind of laid back. I, I, you know, I'd, I'd do something like that again for sure, definitely. If his his arm was really twisted. He's a bit busy though. He's a busy man. He's got a few stadiums to fill. We yeah, he's already. Mine did. You know, a million tickets in in Australia he sold yeah, in amazing. one tour. What a freak of nature. <laughs> Before we get to the next question, um, last time we chatted to you, we did ask what we like to ask our favourite artists, which is when you come in, 
what catering would you like? Ooh. So we have um, organised you. You wanted Tim Tams, ah. cra Australian craft beer, oh, brought in that, by the beautiful Draco. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> and you also wanted something very healthy. So we've got you some like beetrooty juices. Yeah, you've nailed it. And some kale juices. Oh, now, I don't. You, you probably can't eat a Tim Tam now when you're about to sing because oh, it'll God. clog up the throat. You know. But um, Art Prey Performance, we want you to know that we were listening. Thank you so and much. And we, we, we deliver on our promises That's here at Ash Sunday That's tour diet. That's yeah. the tour diet. Right Ain't nothing there. wrong with that. You nailed it. Yeah. Beautiful. I, was, I mean, it was extremely unoriginal of me to ask for Tim Tams. Everyone does it. It's fine. But they are banging. They are banging. And you can like the Gelato Messina, who are like amazing... Ice cream company that they, they do a collaboration now, so it's mm. like. Did you? Oh, Draco! Oh, he you were the best. <laughs> he real and you. Do you know what he's done? I can see he's put a little Tupperware under it so that for his visual merchandising. So there's layers to the Tim Tams. We could not do this without you, Draco. We don't call him my side high kick for nothing. All right, Amazing. it's Suzanne. No app. Hi, Jane. Suzanne. Hello. How are you? How are you doing? What's your favourite song that you've released so far from the new album? From the new album, I think the newer the music that I release, the more I, it, the harder it is to choose a favourite. Um, and they're all, you know, the three that have been released from from Electric Light, Wild Love, Pink Lemonade, and 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 us are all kind of different. Quite obviously, sort of different. They come from the same place, but so it's very hard to pick a favourite. Um, what about off the album? Is there one that you the can't whole wait? The whole oh, thing's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Sorry, I see what you're saying. I, uh, off the whole album. I'm changing her question. I'm broadening it out. I, you know Sauce what? about just it, Suzanne. To, just to keep you on the edge of your seat, I will tell you. I'll tell you a favourite that I haven't released yet. Um, there is a song on there called Fade Out that I really, really like. I like them all, of course, but like, I feel like they're listening, so I don't want them to. I don't want them to get, you know what I mean? Don't want them to get jealous. But there's a song called Fade Out that I'm really looking forward to. And again, it's, you know, it's one of those on this record that it leans away from what people were used to about me musically. But it's brilliant, so. I love how English people say brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. Um, speaking of brilliant, how much have we, you're going to hate this, hate that I'm saying this, how much do we love all the threads that old mate Bay's rocking oh, lately? thank you very much. I mean, there's a bit of shininess on the boot, but have you got some crazy stylist who's just given you a bi billion have, dollars worth I, of I, couture? I, I, have a, I have a very good new friend who's, uh, who, who certainly knows what she's doing in this department yes. uh, to a degree that I don't know anything about. So good question, fair. Yeah, no, she, she's, she's wicked and uh, helping me out. How much of this stuff do you steal? I'd be stealing everything. I go to one I photo shoot and I'm like, I don't know where it's yeah, all gone. All oh, in my backpack. As much as I can. <laughs> Absolutely, every time, as much as I can. What but is the biggest perk about being famous? Probably that. Yeah, <laughs> free um, clothes. Uh, you know what the biggest perk about that is, is, is festivals, being able to go backstage to the toilet. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> a festival toilet is a difficult thing yeah. uh, out in the... For no one. <laughs> I will like miss Beyonce at Coachella to go back to the hotel and do a wee without getting herpes. Like, yeah, I absolutely. Am, absolutely. That is a solid, solid perk. And looking forward for you, because you'll know that the next kind of couple months are going to be crazy. Yeah. Next year's going to be crazy. Yeah. Is there one thing on the horizon that you know is going to happen that you're like, can't wait for that? Yeah, and I can't tell you what it is because it hasn't been announced yet. What is it? I'll tell you Give us a hint. I'll tell you after this. Whoa! I'm friends with James May. <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> other, otherwise, otherwise, another answer would be loads of touring. Yeah. And, uh, and that's my favourite thing. And, and um, I was here, I was only here to see yourself and a couple of other folks in, d in December for a couple of days. And I'm here now and it's April. And I'm here again doing Splendor in the Grass. In, in Just move here, mate. Um, you know what I mean? I'm, 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 I'm trying to keep it as regular as I can. I imagine that at Splendor in a couple of months, you'll just find him like out in the artist bathrooms out the back. Just like, no, I'll be, I'll be checking out some of the bathrooms. <laughs> I'll be checking out some of the music. No, I'll be checking out. You and Kendrick them. Lamar are just going to be like best friends, right? I'm very excited to see him play, I must say. And, and because I've seen, yeah, obviously, he's been touring like mad lately, and, and you see that production, and it just looks amazing. Yeah. And I think Lord's playing at yeah. uh, Splendor as well, which I'm really excited and about. And Khalid, who was oh on wow. this very stage a couple of months ago. He's amazing. He's a freak of nature. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Yeah, location. Young, dumb and broke. Young, dumb and, and broke. And Love Lies, Amazing. that new chat with Normani. Yeah. He's, a, he's so fantastic. That's very cool. Um, and so are you, matey. Would you agree? Yeah. 
Well, it has been a pleasure chatting. Do you feel like you know the man, the myth, JB, more than you did 10 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago? That's the I idea. I hope so. Um, one more song. Sure. Sick. All right, I'll take this mic sure and I'll get out of your way. London Live.